Oh, yes, I think you used to. You can at least go oh, hard to help a little bit. Can you breathe It's customary to show your displace for him with boos and hisses by making noise with noisemakers and groggers, or just by stomping your feet whenever his name is spoken. supposed to be right doing that. You're behind me. Keep going. <laughs> Darth is in his house. Darth Haman is from the nation of Amalek. Maybe you remember when the Jews left Egypt and were crossing the wilderness, they had to fight against the people of Amalek. As long as Moses' hands were raised, the children of Israel prevailed. So Aaron and Hur held up Moses' arms and they defeated the people of Amalek. Later, the prophet Samuel told King Saul to smite Amalek and utterly destroy all the men, women, children, and cattle. Everything. Well, King Saul didn't listen. This Darth Haman is an Agagite, an Amalekite of the descendants of Agag. Does that tell you anything? If King Saul had listened to the force, they wouldn't be having to deal with Darth Haman now. We'd be wise if we always listened to Hashem. Darth Haman has ten schmuck sons, just as evil as himself. Anyway, you get my message. These are some really bad dudes. <laughs> Yada, yada, yada. Louder. Yada, yada, yada. What can I tell you, baby? I've always been bad. <laughs> I hear a little tune there. Dark payments that day. Self-proclaiming is my game. You're not Jewish, are you? I can't stand those Jews. Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? <laughs> Nip it. Let's move on. This is Darth Haman's wife, Zeresh. They say she's much smarter than her husband, even able to speak several languages. But she's a little stubborn and refuses to speak her husband's native language. Hmm. Sounds like these women in Shushan have a lot in common. Now, what kind of ears are these for those of you that are Star Trek fans? Ferengi. Oh, Ferengi. Ferengi. Yes, they are kind of Ferengi anyway. Ferengi. Kind of, not total, but kind of Ferengi. Uh, Which is four. Yes. <laughs> Bottom of page three. <laughs> Can you hear us? Bottom of page three. <laughs> Just like their dad, 
real chicks of the old block. <laughs> we also have with us tonight the king's trusted guide and all-around wise man. Peter. Yoda is old and very wise. A little more music. Not too good looking, but also <laughs> wise. Not too smart either. <laughs> Arm goes in that sleeve right there. I'm dressing a child here. Yep. <laughs> Pull your skirt down. Give him the skirt. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, I knew that was funny. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, look how pretty you can see. Let me see. Let me see. And I'll be keeping my eye on you. Just be sure you aren't caught breaking any of the king's laws and decrees. Pause. Previously, this was where we stopped with our characters, but this year, we're adding one more Bianca because I really didn't want her to feel left out. <laughs> so, put this on. Right here. Stand right here. No, just wait, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> can you read with that one? And you really don't have to have a book because you don't talk perfectly. Hold this on two sides like this. Two sides. And this is what you do. Like this, you go. <laughs> Little louder. <laughs> Every time CP3O says something, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't put that down. That's next year. You can stand up. Tell them what your name is again. You. Oh, <laughs> Alright, narrator. This is what happened during the reign of King James D. Kirkshuaris, who ruled over 127 provinces from India to Ethiopia. The king gave a banquet for all his nobles and officials. Hold it. Everybody off except for the king, Yoda, C-3PO, and Darth Vader. And uh, R2-D2, you can stay there too. 
Hey, man, you can stay here. The and you guys kind of spread out over on the other side of uh, Sam over there. Sam, set up in your chair so we can see you too. The military leaders of Persia, the princes, and the nobles of the provinces were present. The king also gave a seven-day banquet for all the people who lived in Shushan. Vashti, King Kirkshuaris' queen, also gave a banquet for the women in the royal palace. King Kirkshuaris commanded the seven eunuchs who served him. Party on, dudes. Bring Queen Vashti to the banquet carrying her really big phaser in order to display her beauty to the people and nobles. I want everyone to see that she's one bad mama has to be The tribe has spoken. What's the point of having a queen of noble birth if you can't show her off every now and then? So, C-3PO went to Vashti and said, C-3PO! <laughs> That's you in the gold mask. Queen Vashti, come up here. Where you at? He's looking for you. <laughs> come around, come around. You'll get it. <laughs> Queen Vashti, come on down. The king desires your presence. A present? Did you say presents? No, oh, I'll not give him a present. It is not his birthday. No, not a present. The king desires your presence. <laughs> wait, wait, wait where, where are you going? I'm busy. Tell him I've got to wash my hair. He does, who does he think he is? Just because he's the king and my husband doesn't give him any right to tell me what to do. Maybe I'll go, then, um, maybe I won't. Is that that final answer? Answer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my final answer. Jess, Chuck won't know if you were acting or if that was for real. <laughs> so, Queen Vashti refused to go before the king as he had requested. I'm so mad, I'm furious. What will the guys think? I don't know what to try next to get her to come. Loud. Yoda. Do or do not. There is no problem. Put Queen Vashti has dropped. You done. All the women are going to hear about her conduct, and they might for themselves good ideas. They will despise their husband and think they can just get by with it. There will be no one of good success in this court. Therefore, if it pleases the king, let him issue a royal decree and let it be written in the laws of Persia media, which cannot be repealed, that Vashti is never born into uh, the presence of the king to come. Also, let the king give her royal position to someone else, someone who knows how to listen to her husband. Paul! Paul's Paul's first Doug. Wow. Bring that big old knife of yours and come on down here. Surely if we cut a hole in his mouth, we can get a little bit more volume out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, open your well, mouth. Well, at least he took it off before he cut it. <laughs> uh, I was designed to hope you're from the office. I totally lost it. Like we'll try this. Because he's uncle when he's talking, he's talking. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh, I'm coming. This is a two person. Here. That's bound to help a little bit. All right. King James T. Kirk, who wears? Well, I would like to have someone a little younger. How will I know which one is the right one for me? <coughs> help her. You help you out of dress with your feelings and find her. You will always in motion with the future. One of the advantages of being king is being able to ask for advice without necessarily having to take it. But that's a good idea. Master Yoda, have all the young and beautiful women brought before me. 
Hot babe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, down front, I need King Kirk Chueras.